All right. So today I want to talk about Derek James. I want to talk about whether or not he deserved to be compensated for his performance in the Terrence Crawford fight. And when I say performance, I mean as a coach. So as you all know, Errol Spence and Derek James, they had a split. They're no longer working in tandem. They're no longer working together. Errol Spence is um, currently looking for a new coach if he hasn't found a new coach already. So what I'm asking y'all is, did Derek James deserve to get paid after the Terrence Crawford fight? Because Derek alleged that Errol didn't want to pay him after the fight. Do y'all believe Derek James deserved to get paid after the uh, Terrence Crawford fight? I think Errol was looking at it like this. The trainer's job is to prepare the fighter for the fight. Not only to prepare him for the fight, but prepare him to win the fight. But even in a loss, you want to know that your trainer properly prepared you and that you had a chance to win. When you watch the fight between Errol and Terrence Crawford, it seems as though Errol had zero chance of winning. So Errol feels as though, what am I paying you for? You didn't prepare me for the fight. You didn't do your job. Derek wasted his time training the man and took him far in his career. I don't think he wasted his time. I wouldn't say that. <clears throat> you should pay what's old, but he wasn't prepared. Hmm. They're on two different levels as fighters. That's not on DJ. At the end of the day, the fighter has to fight for themselves. I agree with Doug Miller and on boxing with boxing talk. Um, if y'all in here, make sure y'all tap in the screen and like in the live. But ultimately, the fighter has to fight for themselves. The trainer, no matter how much they prepare you, you have to fight for yourself when you get in there. So, Errol been with Derek since he was a kid. I will understand if it was just some random. I agree with that as well. A trainer is paid for time, not results. Don't ignore this. Hmm. Ultimately, man, I'm be honest with you. I think Errol should have paid him, but I need to know exactly how much we talking because Derrick James probably demanded more money than um he's ever demanded before because they made more money than they've ever made before. So I think Errol's looking at it like, bro, I'm not paying you all of this money because I got my ass whooped, so... Who's to say that you warranted that amount of pay? You didn't earn that amount of pay. So I think that Earl should have paid him what he, what he normally pays him, even though they got that big check. Now, if it was me, I think I would have just paid him whatever he was asking for. I mean, when you look at, when you look at Earl's career, it was an extremely successful career. Earl had three belts at um 147. Derrick James got him to the Olympics. You know what I mean? Somebody said he wouldn't have paid him nothing. Why do you say he didn't deserve it, creator? But when you consider Errol's entire career, Derrick James has done right by him. Derrick James has uh, prepared him for all the other fights. I mean, he was undefeated before fighting Terrence Crawford. I seen people on the internet saying, um, I seen people on the internet saying that Derrick James, the reason why Errol performed so bad is because Derrick was uh, training multiple people, and um, as a coach, you should have a team. You shouldn't be an individual training Frank Martin, Anthony Josh, or Ryan Garcia, to the point where you had to tell Errol that he had you had to set up times with him to train, as opposed to you zoning in on Errol because Errol is the one that's getting the uh, the biggest fight of of his life. So well, that was a good point that I saw on the internet. That's not my own point. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to sit down on a fake seat. I almost bust my ass. Derry James is a good trainer for his fighters. Uh, just run, just run into better fighters. Um, that's a hell of a statement. I mean, because Jamel Charlo ran into Canelo, and Canelo's a better fighter, and Canelo's a bigger fighter. Errol ran into Terrence Crawford. 
And Arrow even admitted that Terrence Crawford was the more um, talented fighter. Can George Foreman beat Wilder in a street fight? What? Bro, George Foreman old as hell. Why the fuck? I'm trying to get situated because I'm not in my normal. I'm not in my normal shit. I mean, a young prom George Foreman. Why would you ask could he beat him in a street fight and they both boxers? Why not just ask could he beat him in a boxing ring? Hey, man, brother. You oh. yeah, tell Charlo good, but not the best. Facts. Possibly, but Bud was just on another level. You can't blame Derek. Derek built them. Mm. If you have multiple fighters, y'all have to make it work, and fighters have to know what's good for them. But you still need a team. Somebody on YouTube pointed that out that Derrick James didn't have a team. So he's trying to do everything by himself. Remember, Jamel Charlo went and hired Juan Guzman on his own and did a lot of training with Guzman. My man says, because we know the answer easily is Foreman, but in the street, who knows? Actually, if Foreman fought Deontay Wilder, you don't know who wins that fight. Deontay has one punch knockout power. I will go with Foreman as well, though. You heard that Errol could be with Calvin Ford. Yeah, Calvin Ford said he um he wouldn't mind training Errol as long as he got the blessing of Derrick James. Spence would be better off with Bomac, bro. See, I was gonna do a video on that, but I thought people was gonna think that I was trying to be funny. If y'all in here, make sure y'all tap in the uh the live. But in a perfect world. Errol Spence could pull a Kevin Durant and go train with Bo Mack because Bo Mack seems to be one of the best in the world. Mike Tyson versus um, Canelo and Floyd in the street. Bro, Mike Tyson is much larger than both of them. He would kill them both. That's exactly why I said a fighter has to know what's good for him if he's not getting enough time fast. Bo Mack, Bo Mack, the best coach in the game. Kerr, Keyshawn, Davis. What is a Womack, though? No matter when or lose, he trained him, and it's his job to use that training in the fight fast. DJ going through hell with Ryan. Mm, yeah, but he getting paid to go through hell. Ryan paying him a pretty, pretty penny. Rio King, thanks for the follow. Train with Bozy. Yeah, Bozy would be good. Bozy trained to Andy Cruz. Triple G or Marvin Hagler at 47. Um... Hagler. Triple G and Hagler had the same type of intensity, but Hagler had way more footwork than Triple G. Way, way more footwork. Much more complete boxer. Hagler was a switch hitter. In fact, Terrence Crawford is like the modern-day Marvin Hagler. People just don't want to give Terrence that type of credit, but he really is a modern-day Marvin Hagler. Better Southpaw, Pacquiao or Hagler? Hagler. Do you think Tank and Shakur has to fight some, showing that they are the only ones who has belt? Nah. They should fight, but they don't have to. Tank don't have to do shit. Tank is the one who makes the most money, so. Please don't disrespect Derrick James. Who is disrespecting Derrick James? Tay Suave. And, why, and do you know Derrick James personally? I'm talking about please don't disrespect Derrick James. You're right, Tank really got his way. Yeah, he do. You, bro. How am I disrespecting him, Tay Swab? I need you to I need you to explain yourself, man. Facts over feelings, man. It's, it's like a manosphere. I believe he got paid 10%, but maybe he was expecting 10% of the pay-per-view as well. Yeah, I heard about that. I heard that he didn't get none of the pay-per-view. These people said Earl ran off with the pay-per-view. <laughs> L ran off on the plug. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> Excuse. L ran off on the plug. Brian's not showing shit. Of what he learned is smart. You're asking if bro deserves his money. Like, how are you gonna question a grown man's pay? Hater, bro. Nah, I'm just going over a topic because Errol Spence didn't pay him. So that's what I'm talking about, Tay. That's why I need you to get out your feelings, man. I don't want to have to block you. This could just be a misunderstanding. 
But Errol Spence didn't pay Derrick James what Derrick James felt as though he was owed. So this live is about me questioning, well, did Derrick deserve to get paid? I mean, where is Errol coming from is basically where I'm trying to get at. So I need you to put your big boy pants on, man. You know what I mean? Don't spend so much time around your mom. Spence need to pay him, but he feels like his skills are more relevant, I feel. What do you mean his skills are more relevant? Have you ever boxed? No, man, man. I just talk shit all day. I don't box at all. In fact, if you're a boxer, we could probably hook up sometime and you can show me what you know. That'll be my <laughs> introduction into boxing. Yes, he deserves to get paid. If anything, Earl doesn't deserve to get paid. Why wouldn't Earl, Earl the one who got the ass whooping? Why wouldn't Earl deserve to get paid, bro? Derek got paid extra money on the side to train Earl for failure so Bud can be number one. Ooh. That's crazy. Crazy conspiracy right there. Bo Mack is considered arguably the best coach ever, not Derrick James. I mean, yeah, I'm, I mean, Earl probably should go to Bo Mack on some Kevin Durant shit. He's relying more on himself and his way more than a new coach. I don't know if I could be wrong. Egos get big. Some fighters, the coach is just there to guide them. Like Ali, Ali was cool whether he was co like he ain't really need a coach. Floyd he ain't need a coach. Yo, chill. I was just asking, and yeah, I, I do got some fights. Nah, I, I was just fucking around, man. Man, it's not that serious. What are your reasons why he shouldn't? I don't have no reasons why he shouldn't. I'm asking y'all. Do y'all believe he should get paid? I think that Errol is saying you don't deserve the money because you ain't earned the money because you didn't prepare me for the fight. That's what I think. I don't know what Errol is thinking, but they said Errol didn't pay that man that pay-per-view for whatever reason. Me personally, I like Calvin Ford. He's the best fit for him. Some of y'all mad at your mama, not the host. Damn. He need to pay. If Spence feel his performance was the result of his trainer, then pay and leave. Charlo need to get revenge for Errol against Bud. That's what I'm talking about, Hassan. That's a big fight. Charlo, Bud. That's a big, big fight, man. Errol knows something we don't. Exactly. Exactly. Errol knows something we don't know. He told EJ nothing after round one. EJ is the best ball to wait. Nah, that's false. I can't I can't get with you on that. He told he told him a lot of shit, man. He told him a lot of shit. Like it's just that you gotta listen. I should have brought a chair up here, bro. This shit is uncomfortable. Let me see something. Oh. Alright. What's good, uh, them Duke boys? I'm crazy for thinking Charlo Power can slow Crawford down and have a puncher chance. No, Charlo got a chance to beat Crawford. It's just I would pick Crawford to win. Derek sold out bringing Ryan to camp. How he sell out? I mean, he, he sold out, all right. He got paid. This early guy is no good. Earl guy is no good fighter. He's just hanging up. Damn. I mean, he was he was under, he was unified at 147. I don't think that he's not good. Focused on the clout and money. Who who's focused on the clout and money? Hey, thanks for liking the live. Um, whoever liked that live. Derrick James trash. I didn't know of him till Crawford and Spence. I disagree. I don't think Derrick is trash. Bro, what you mean he deserved to get paid? It's his job. Of course he needs his money. Errol ain't paying him, so that's why I'm asking. Errol didn't feel as though he deserved to get paid, so that's why I'm asking y'all. Do y'all think he deserved to get paid? What do y'all think Errol is thinking? That's what I've been trying to figure out. Like, damn, why Errol ain't paying him? What's, what's going on? He tripping. Everybody get tested. Why he didn't pay him? I don't fucking know. KJ, do you think all them car accidents slow Earl down? Of course. There's no way that you could get thrown out of a um, Lamborghini or Ferrari or whatever sports car he was driving. Um, have to get new teeth. You know, got to get the skin ripped off your face. Um, have broken bones and shit like that. There's no way that you could be hurt in that capacity 
be knocked unconscious, wake up in the hospital and spend months um, rehabbing and, and not lose a part of your athleticism. A lot of the greatness of Errol Spence was lost in that car crash. The fact that Errol was able to come back shows how great he is. What's your record? I'm not a boxer. Go ask that dude, man, man. I've never boxed before in my life. I don't have a record. I'm just a guy that talks shit on TikTok. Nobody wants to fight Bub. That's Cap. Boots has been begging to fight Bub for years now. <clears throat> so you think Fundora beats Errol? That's going to be a close fight because I think that Errol has lost a lot. I don't think that Errol is the same. That fight going to be closer than what people think. The way that he lost, I, w I, want I wouldn't pay him either. That's what I'm saying. I think that's what Errol is getting at. Like, bro. You don't deserve no tech. Not only did I lose, but I got my ass whooped in a historical fashion. Like, the way that Arrow lost, people are going to be looking at that fight for over and over and over. Like, PBC, they might not even post that shit. PBC is supposed to post a fight after a year. It's going on a year, and summertime, it'll be the year, a year. They might not post that fight, bro. <clears throat> Somebody said, that's on Arrow. Everybody said, that's on Arrow. Man, I don't know, man. How is that Derek's fault? I don't know, man. Look, I'm just asking y'all. That's what I'm saying. Gamboa looked better against Bud and EJ. So did um your boy, Lundy. So did so did uh that uh what's my man Sean Porter. Sean Porter looked great against Terrence Crawford. He didn't look good. He looked great until he got stopped. Styles make fights, guys. There go my man. Don J. Can't watch that fight again, just like with uh, Roy Jones and Tarver. Shit, I can't wait to when they... I didn't seen the fight a million times, but I can't wait to when PBC posts it so I can break it down on TikTok without having to worry about getting uh, copyrights. <clears throat> it's on Errol. Yeah, he does deserve to get paid. Hey, Don, Errol didn't pay, Errol didn't pay him, though. That's why I'm asking the people. Because... Everyone is saying he deserves to get paid, but obviously Errol doesn't feel that way because Errol ain't paying him, man. He said Errol didn't pay him none of the pay-per-view. The fee that um, Derrick James asked Errol for, Errol didn't pay him. He just skipped out on him. He ran off on the plug. How long you been on here? I've been on here for like um, 15, 10 minutes. I ain't been on here long. Fifteen, ten minutes. I ain't been on here long. Pay that man. Damn. You think the beard hides your chin? What do you mean? Do you mean helps your chin? Is the rumor about Errol's rib injury in camp true? I don't know, but people are saying that Errol was injured. He had a broken rib and he went into the, the ring high off painkillers. I don't know. If that's what his, his decision was to do, then that's on them and that was silly. I've been watching Frank fights more and more, and I don't know. He's a very slow processor. That's a great, great point. That's what I said in his last fight. Just taking him way too long to make decisions. Can't beat Tank Davis like that. <clears throat> a lot of people are saying, so who's more at fault for the loss? Would it be Errol or Derek? Do y'all think it was more Errol or Derek? Why, why was it such a devastating loss? Fact of the matter is, that was no regular loss. That was a historic loss. So both of these guys' resumes are going to be blacked by that. Everybody's saying Errol. Errol is the boxer. It's his fault. Damn. Don said it's both of their fault. My man said, is this live? What do you mean is it live? Most people are just saying it's Errol's fault. So as a boxer, remember... You got to make sure that you're learning as much as you can learn on your own because when you get your ass whooped, ain't nobody going to blame your trainer. Only because Errol underestimated Bud. I believe Errol did underestimate Bud. When you hear the um the talks when they were rating each other, Errol greatly underestimated Bud. It's Spence's fault. The fuck the trainer can't fight for you. Mm. Spence just, just turned up for the paycheck. His body was compromised. When you say compromised, how so? The car crash, or do you believe the, the rib injury? <clears throat> I 
Hold on, I'm gonna be back, man. I might go get a chair. Alright y'all, I'm back. I had to get a chip. Oh, I fucked up. I had to get up like a chip, man. Alright man, we back in business, man. We back in business. I had to get a chip. I was uncomfortable. I blame Crawford. <laughs> oh shit! Oh shit! Don said he blamed Crawford. Hey, Don. <laughs> Why you blame Crawford for the loss, man? <clears throat> Don said, I blame Crawford. What's the red circle mean? Oh, we got somebody. Oh, my boy. Football practice. What's going on? What's good, NBA? What's up? Thank you for that. Oh. Thanks for the gift, Don, huh? You said what? I ain't say nothing. Thanks for the roses, Don. DJ got what his contract mandated. How do you know that, Murphy? What's good, Don? What's up, Don? What's up? All right, now, you said you blame Crawford for the law. Yeah, man. I mean, because a trainer does what he do. He been winning fights with the same trainer. So he lost this fight. So the yeah. only the only off balance of this is Crawford. He fought Crawford. Yeah. So it's that's Crawford that beat his ass. Yeah. Actually, that's that's great, great, anybody that's other than Crawford, he would probably won that night. Yeah, he probably would have won. So who do you blame? Crawford. <laughs> Damn. Yeah. yeah. That's one way to look at it. Hey Murphy, you said um, what's good, Murphy? What's going on, bro? Man, you said that uh, DJ got with his contract mandated. Is that true? Yes, sir. I said it. Those exact statement. That exact statement. You know. And how, you know the, how you know that though? I know that because it was in January, of last year. July you know, last year. My bad. And Derek James got a civil case on uh, Spence for his money. By the way, would it be a civil no. case? Yeah, it's a civil case. It, it would be though. Might I don't know. So no, he, yeah. already, he already put a civil case in, in Dallas, Texas. Texas. Yeah, he Google did, it. It'll come up. So that's what I'm saying. Oh, no, no, I've like seen it. I've seen it. It's, oh, okay. I mean, it's interesting. Yeah, it's crazy, though, too. Hey, so do you think he... paying your trainer should be mandatory? Of course. It was kids. Yeah. You better not do that kind of scroll. Bruh. It I'm, should be. I looked at a. I looked at a. It should be in the contract. Now, what they put on the books is that is that EJ fault? Is that more? Like the the Al situation. Well, that's what that's what he's really looking at. Like, are you are you suing Al over Arrow trying to get to Al? That's what I'm saying. Now, granted, you can't go for Al and not and, and no, not go for look, Arrow, bro. Look, Arrow, Derek James is Arrow's um, trainer. See, this exactly. is, a lot of people don't know this. A lot of people don't know this, right? But Floyd actually wanted to have more of a um a say so over Errol's career once he came to PBC. But Floyd, he said it before he said, it's not in my control, it's out of my control because Errol made it clear I'm working with Derek. But really, exactly. it was up to Floyd. I don't even think that um, Errol would have been under under Derek James. I think Floyd would have had- I mean, we know. With a different trainer train him his damn self. KJ, you, you know, I fuck with your channel, dog. You know I do, dog, but let's be honest. DJ fights like a heavyweight. 
You you um you you chopping up. You fight him away, does he not? You said what? I said DJ Duck, when when he sits on punches, he sits on it like a heavyweight, correct? Oh, you talking about you talking about um Spence? No, so just on how DJ, on how DJ trains Spence. Oh right, okay, okay. Yeah, I mean you gotta understand Derrick James was a, was a, he was a super middleweight himself. Did he win trainer of the year? Exactly. Yeah, but some of that yeah. stuff can be hyped up based on your fighters. You yeah. know. So I, I don't care about that shit. My, yeah, way, my question is, is if it wasn't if it wasn't for EJ, down. would he have got that trophy? No. We're right. talking about a man that went three times Leonard. No. Probably not. Thank you. So we, we, we uh better question. Would we even be in a situation where we looking at EJ training Ryan Garcia? The, the 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 Instagram phenom, if it wasn't for EJ, <laughs> hmm. I mean, dog. Or, like, or, or you can go even with, with bills, Charlo, either way. Would have have Charlo left Houston to go to Dallas if it wasn't for EJ to go with Derrick James? Yeah. You know what I'm saying, dog? Like, like I understand Charlo DJ's he principles. You know what I'm saying? Change. I'm just thinking he's going after the wrong guy, and that's not Arrow's fault on the contract you agreed to. And that's coming from a coaching aspect. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can be butthurt about it. I can be in my feelings. But I don't know about sipping, put, putting no civil law. Like, like, this is like a um, domestic dispute. You know, like, this nigga didn't stole my cookies. I don't know about that. Well, he can't steal shit. Now, one thing is it's in the contract. And then you got to think about all the things, Derek, the time Derek James put in the training. That's time. Time is money. So we don't know if Derek James put it. To go wherever they train, over we don't know. Years. So you know, you, time is money. Derek put over fifteen years, man. You can't I mean, say, okay, I mean, only if I know. win, you get paid. It's win, exactly. lose, or draw, you get paid. Yeah. So, you know, I think he's gonna win the civil lawsuit. I think he's gonna win. I think, think he's gonna, gonna win it too. Yeah, you, you can't. You can't have a man train you and all this shit, and then. You get your ass whooping and say, I'm not paying you. Cause you didn't and, get it. I, 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 I think where that's a lot of people getting to confused. He's not oh, saying he know, didn't pay him. Yeah, he's saying he didn't money. pay him the Paper percentage views. that he was expecting. Yeah, they said that a lot of people the same pay per view because most of the money was made on the pay per view. So Derek is like he got his regular pay, but this is a this is a mega fight. So his pay should have been a little exactly. bit more heftier than whatever he's usually getting paid. Okay, so he's he's showing him for the for the the the, the extra of the pay per view and all that stuff. So okay, Basically, that's what got saying. paid the Ali know, mandate. It makes sense. Okay, okay, now Derek it's making more got sense. Paid his Ali mandate. I was kind of looking at Spence different, like he skipped out. I see now. Now I got it better. So he paid him a regular, you know, his regular ten percent. It's almost or like you pay the plug, oh, but then the plug on some. Hey man, I need two grand more right there at the date, like yeah, right when yeah. you show up, like bro. Now, what you mean? Now we got to see. Was there a deal based on that other money? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. We gonna have to see the original contract. Yeah. And, oh, and it but might I heard what y'all said about Frank. I'm just trying to see: Have Tank ever made it to the 12th round where he was actually fighting someone relevant? Uh, Cruz. Right? Oh, is that 10? Yeah. That was a 10 rounder or 12? No, that was 12. So, 12. Okay, yeah, yeah. Was he? No, no. Did he train for Cruz? Last time no, I checked, he, he didn't train no. for Cruz. No, he didn't train for Cruiser, but Cruz Which didn't is, train well, for Cruz. Is Cruz a southpaw? Is Cruz a southpaw? Nope. With the, no. with the same with the same athletic prowess. That no, no, no. Okay, so we got a whole different fight. We can't yeah. compare apples to oranges, fellas. We can't. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, I understand that Frank is less known, bro. But man, y'all be y'all be hard on Frank, dog. Did you watch Frank? Now, you I, don't, I don't think we compared them. You asked the question and we answered it. I don't think we have compared Pitbull. To, to Frank. No, I'm basing off KJ's question. Uh, oh, okay. It was a, it no, was I, didn't a have a question. I made a statement. Frank. I made a statement. I made yeah, a statement, statement. that yeah. Frank Martin, um, he take he take a long time processing information in the ring. Mm -hmm. yeah, I see. I don't think he needs to go up in there rushing with Tank either. He's trying to get and, you out of there, dog. But then another thing, Harold Spence is going to get another churn after he left Derrick James. 
Hey. Yeah, get another what? Well, there's really the nothing wrong with that the Because if you think about it, he should have been knocked out early. He's a dog in the yeah. loft, bro. There ain't nothing wrong with his chin, bro. Chin, when you got a weak chin, it, it shows cautious. up in more than one fight. Just yeah. because a dude lost one fight, don't, oh, he got a weak chin. Uh, that, it don't work like that. Who said his yeah. chin was weak? Yeah. Uh, somebody said, do you think his chin is going to uh lad in the next fight right? he no 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 don he said do you think he's gonna get a new trainer oh i thought he said it. oh he got to he already did that at least for the time i was confused i was like huh it sounded like he said a new chair i know i was, I was gonna do a video about, about this to say, um, I'm in the car because the other day i was thinking like damn l got a great chin even though nobody would say yeah. that after watching the fight but i'm like Bro, this yeah. man was supposed to be knocked out. This motherfucker exactly. kept getting up, kept getting up. Hell that's got a great chin, man. Yeah, so that's bro, awesome. different levels Good of chin. chins. You got guys who never touch the canvas. Do you got guys who touch the canvas, get back up? Do you got guys who get knocked unconscious? You yeah. know what I mean? So the different levels of chins, man. Yeah. And and we never you know, seen I, I I ain't in for the glove gate and shit, but I I I do know what it's like to have the rapper cast around your hand. I really want to see what that fight would be like down south. I really do. I, I just want to see if Frank Chingo hang up, hang, hold on against a tank power. That's Me all. Too. I think that's the difference right there. Yeah, he might Vegas bounce around. Texas are two, better. Different, two different persons. Footwork might be good, but, you know, I don't know. I don't know. Who, who, who has Frank Martin fought that has that type of power and skill combination, power and skill, it's hey, Tank. Don, this is the thing, What's though, skill? Don. Oh, you saying Tank Randy don't have Turbin, skill? Randy Turbin, I ain't like never seen Ray no Robinson. skills, dog. I've been asking mm -hmm. for help mm -hmm. to ask AJ. I've been asking, <laughs> what tools do you need to ask? <laughs> huh? Hey, man. Hey, tank ain't got no tank skills? You agree with that? Bruh. No, Tank got all types of skills. I've never <laughs> seen Tank fight nobody that shows skills, show skills or tools though. in a bag or any of this shit, bro. Well, I'm, 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 tank I'm sorry that... I'm sorry that these cats, when they got in the ring with Tank, that they they it looked like they didn't have skills. Who's he had a he fought, yeah. he fought an Olympic gold medalist. He fought. What, what's that? What's that Spanish dude that he he broke yeah. something? That dude was oh, yeah. Olympic. He was a he was a silver medalist or something. I ain't never seen nobody. Who's talking about, we're not talking about Gamble. Nobody no, 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 no. Gamble was bro, in the pros. Bro. It's, a, it's a cat he fought right before Garcia. Eh? The Spanish dude, he had beat, remember he had beat. Cat, the, oh, that, that proves my point. He had That's beat. Really remember? Hold on, hold on. He had beat, um, what's that dude's name? The black dude. He the first one to beat that black dude. Shit, I can't think of his name right now. And he was a promising, it was Just like he was going to be a champ. Don't Hector Garcia, oh. man. I can't think of this dude's name for crap, man. Hey, Don, you talking about Hector Garcia. And Hector Garcia fought um, the dude from New York. I, yeah, I can't think of the dude's name. The black dude, he stopped him, and he yeah, got he stopped the, him. And now the black dude got, got stopped again by um by um. Yeah. What, what is what his name? What's his name? Fuck, I can't think of his name for nothing right now. He's a decent fighter this now, but he ran Rayo, into yeah, the, Rayo. Rayo Was he ranked top three too. when he fought him? I can't no, think when, of his name. Hector Garcia yeah. fought, he was undefeated. Hector Garcia and that boy was actually fighting for the right to fight Tank. I can't think of that dude name. I but think it I, starts with like a C or something. Yeah, and I can't think. Yeah, of I can't it think right of his name either. This is the first two. That's part of what Tank Murphy's saying. Career, Murphy's basically dog. saying Tank. Hey, it's Christian Colbert. And dude, and dude was Colbert. the hundred thirty pound champ. It is. And, it's Christian. It's Christian. It's, yeah, yeah, yeah. These dudes. These dudes. It, it's similar it to like. It's Christian. It's, Christian. it's similar to like what Roy said. They all are nothing. After he get finished with him, no. You know, Roy said, Roy said, fighters, Roy said, Roy said, then they got the nerve to say, "I ain't fight nobody. I just make him look like nobody." Y'all, yeah, yeah. High. There you go. Yeah, and uh, then then when dude was fighting um Lomachenko, the one that dropped Lomachenko, oh, he dropped Lomachenko. Oh, he lost. But when Tank knocked his ass up, oh, he just fought him off. This shit kills me. Yeah, yeah. He might didn't fight the people Haney Whoa. for. Whoa, 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 whoa,
kills me. You know, yeah, he could fight better okay, fighters. Like that, 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 say he ain't fight. No, Lenares, Lenares, they said Lenares did. Lenares, Lenares, yeah. But take it, yeah, take it away, Lenares. He did. Lenares just knocked him out. Both of them Lenares. Then both of them must have somebody dropped Lomachenko. You know what though? You know who Tank should have fought, and he dropped Lomachenko. I made a video on it. I made a video on it. Your boy actually caught Loma slipping. Um, Gary Russell Jr. I made a video the other day. Oh yeah. Somebody on Twitter has seen it. But but. Gary that Russell is the only person. On, that on is the only person. Slip. They made that man sit behind that shit. He's been sitting ever since. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, he no. damn sure have been. Yeah, Gary Russell has some nice hands, man. Yes, yeah, so yeah, Tank was supposed hands, to fight man. Gary Russell, man. Gary Russell was calling him out for yes, the was. last four years. So Tank, Tank. Yeah, he, Gary was calling out Tank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they in the that same area a too. Of a fight, but, but I, that's, why I, that's why I'm not big on like me. I know Tank got skill. But to me, Tank Davis is a modern day Ray Robinson. Ray Robinson, he was protected a lot of times throughout his career. From murderers row. Murder row. He was dug in murderers row like a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and that's also why I think that Tank will lose to uh Devin. Well, how and is that for Kid Chocolate, who was like the, the dog? Nah, I, I don't put him he in no shit. He was already right. old, bro. Sugar Ray fought Kid, he nah. fought Kid Chocolate, and he, he fought- um. I ain't, I ain't putting him in that he, category, man. And he not, fought, and he fought um yeah, the other dude. He fought Randy Turpin, and he fought a old. He fought a um into the in over the hill um. Henry Arm Henry Armstrong. Yeah, right? but how many people he beat when he was over the hill? Huh? No, how no. I, he, I, he I, I'm not hill. hating on him. I'm saying when you look at his full box rec, he didn't fight that many top black fighters, and there were a lot of them around that was calling him out at the time. To me, Sugar Ray is the best fighter ever. It's a it's a debate between him and Floyd, but. I still got to call a spade a spade, meaning I always say this. Box you can't There's fight no everybody in the court. There's no yeah. way he don't fight Charlie Burley. You cannot fight everybody in the damn and sport. You don't have to fight everybody. Sugar Ray, you know? Charlie Burley called the man out, and Sugar Ray told him, I'm too pretty to fight you. That's a duck. <laughs> I mean, I, I know you can't fight everybody, but a man, a man calling you out, you the champion, you can try to make it happen. So yeah, I, think I, I was a deer back then, so I can't really speak on what was going on in that time. Yeah. I couldn't, so I... I, I I, I just go by that who he man. and how he did it. That's all I can say is who he, who, who, how he won, how what oh, he yeah, did. Yeah. Ray, Ray Robinson, and, like, and I think Ray Robinson that, the best, the best ever. Jump man, from but. 147 to 160 and do like he did is crazy because I don't think dudes could do that today. Go from yeah, one because yeah. that's why they came up with the catch weight 154 and all that shit because it was hard to get people to go to different weight classes. But it wasn't no 154 back then so he went from 147 to 160 and fought some dogs this is what i'm gonna say though when ray was still in in his in his prime and he got in there with randy turpin black fighter he did he did lose and he was losing the second fight as well yeah but he was old though he was old, he wasn't that old when he fought um randy turpin yes he was Randy Turpin was 28. Ray Thank was you, Don. Thank Ray you. Was damn near 40 when he fought him. The first fight he fought, him. Damn near 40 the fight second Ray fight he was, probably, was losing. Ray was probably, Ray was probably was at, losing. The most, at the most 33 oh. or 34. He was not 40. He was fight, losing. Yeah, but he had over 100 fights. So when he was okay, losing. Okay, yeah, wearing when he was but losing. I mean, a lot hold on, of, hold on. When he was losing, the ref told him, I'm giving you one more round because your what? eyes cut open, and that's right. it. It's the last round. He was going to say that. I was going to say that. Was he not but blind? I'm saying, but you see, but you that missing what I'm blind. saying. What I'm saying is, Randy Turpin, Randy Turpin gave Ray that fucking work, and Ray, yeah, Ray well, knocked him out in the rematch. But Ray was losing in the rematch because yeah. he had to because I mean, he had to cut. The house make fights. He was blind. But, coach, but, you know he was blind, coach. Well, you beat me once, you should have beat me twice. You beat me by exactly. a decision. I beat you by but, KO. But, but I say I say that to say this though. I do believe Tank is going to struggle with Frank Martin because. When you look at Tank box rec overall, it's he not, got it's no not choice. Frank Martin's up there. I think Tank gonna knock him out eventually, but there's no Frank Martin on yeah, Tank I box rec. Whereas if you look at Devin Haney's, you look at Devin Haney's box rec, you see a Lomachenko up there. So you like, um, okay, Devin ain't been in there with a dog. This Tank first time really to me, this is first time really going in there with with an athletic dog. I ain't gonna say just a dog yeah. because Cruz was a dog, but I'm talking yeah. about a, a truly athletic dog. Yeah, and it will be. I want to count. And, 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 and if he knocks Frank out, which, 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 which,
if he does what I think, if he cut the ring off on Frank and push the push the pressure on him and knock him out, I'm gonna Negro, make my video and I'm gonna say Devin Haney. Think, Devin you know Haney has some problems with this man because ain't no. Hey, fuck KJ. That's KJ. all I'm waiting to see if he cut the ring off against somebody KJ. with fast. KJ, KJ, KJ. Devin will have some problems. When you seen this man's left leg go left? When you see his back leg go left? I, I just want to know. In the Barrios fight. In the Barrios fight. You talking about when he was on the ropes yet again, tricking niggas? You ain't no, tricking like that, fight, dog. You know what I think, think about Tank? In the lip rounds. I think Tank want to be this boxer so bad that he, he forget to cut off the damn ring. If you ever listen to his comment, remember when they told him, oh, you fight like Mike Tyson. No, I don't. I know how to box. <laughs> so I think in his mental, his mental, he really think he can outbox these dudes. So that's why no, you should try to box Frank. It's going to be though. a long night, dog. I don't think he should try to outbox. Um, I don't think so either. Guys. I think he it's should do what he do. Like Go at the end of the day, at the end of the day, that's why I said when you compare Tank and Pernell, Pernell was on another level skill wise. Whoa. Pernell whoa, didn't whoa, have a lot of power. I wouldn't even say those two names in the same category. Yeah, your coach. Hey, your coach. Just, just. When KJ brings up the segment of the uh uh fuck Baval and Bedavive dog, please show up. I, I can't wait for that because I, I want to see what people got to say about that. But I stay on subject. I swear, I swear Tink remind me of Eddie Cook, man. It's like fucking Facts. deja vu, man. I swear they remind me of each other. Eddie Cook that Eddie never Cook. throws his jab. He just uh -huh. catches. That, you know, that was my teammate in the army. Eddie Cook was my teammate in Fort Hood. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, he, he that's who Tank remind me of Eddie Cook, man. Fast Eddie. Eddie had a better jab. I his, give him that. His hands was fast and he had some power until he ran into Marco Antonio Barrera. <laughs> that was his kryptonite, boy. He never let his hands go against him. I never understood that. Like he like he had some like sauce on that on, on that cross, man. He put I, some sauce I, on that. I have no I have no clue. You know, sometimes <laughs> people have all off nights, man. Yeah, I, think night, the off night, I think the off night is training though. I think yeah. that it could be, if yeah, you don't yeah. put it in, if you don't put it, it in, be the mental. Camp, it could be some mental issues, you know. I don't mean mental illness, like something could be going on. When they're family and stuff. Family, moms died, father died. Anything could have happened. Like when he fought Barrero, we all we, that was the army days over. I ain't had no contact with him to know. Oh, did you you know, I when I saw that fight, I was like, damn, Eddie fight better than that. But hey, it is what it is. Thanks, Coach. Marco Antonio Barrera also ended Kennedy me Kennedy career. Another teammate of mine in the army. Mm. Yeah, Marco Antonio Barrera was a career ender, but Junior Jones beat his ass. <laughs> yeah. Wait, say it again, Don. Junior Jones, remember Junior Jones? Yeah. Junior Jones beat Marco Antonio Barrera ass twice. Beat the shit out of him that second mm -hmm. time. Beat the yep. dog shit out of him. Yep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Morales, was Morales is still one of my favorite fights. The first one. Somebody said Tank don't beat nobody at 140. Changed my mind. I disagree with that. Yeah, I disagree. He could, beat, he could beat Cruz right now. KJ, I hope other fighters start doing what Errol is doing. What do you mean, what Errol is doing? Oh, he, I think he's talking about the coaching. Oh, switching coaches? Oh. Yeah. I mean, because no, honestly, I don't think that's like, good. Okay. For, well, a lot what of fighters would, after they leave, they oh, he meant he meant don't with the same he meant coach, don't bro. start doing. Yeah, I agree. I don't think you should be just switching coaches after a bad loss. But a lot of people do it. Wait, was Derek James with people. Arrow throughout his amateur career? I seen a lot of people career? switch coaches. Derek, Derek, yeah, Derek with Arrow, she was like fifteen, man. Oh, then he deserved to get paid. Oh, he was with him that long. Yeah, he's winning since he was a teenager. Yeah, yeah. yeah teenager. you know, he's both from Dallas, so yeah, you're right. Man. I ain't know he was with him that long, though. I watched yeah. the video with uh, Robert Garcia, and he was like, all my fighters I've been through with through the amateur career, I deserve to get paid. But with Anthony Joshua, he was like, no, nah, I didn't really care about that one, about getting paid, because he was just with me for one fight. Two, yeah. He was with him for two fights. Somebody says, sometimes you have to know when to move on so you can learn more. Derek trained everyone the same. I do agree that Derek trains everyone the same, and I disagree with the way that Derek does that. Like, okay, I, I'll give you a quote from Derek. Um, I'm going to just sum it up because I don't have the exact words, but he said when he got Jamel Cholo, Jamel was doing a lot more movement, a lot more dancing. But now Jamel is sitting down on shots. And I don't think that you should just go away from movement. Yeah, I don't uh, – yeah. That's one reason why I always say great fighters are not good trainers most of the time. Or good fighters – because they want you to, they, they got one way of training and that's the way they, 
they fought, right? For instance, Buddy McGirt. Buddy McGirt could never be a good trainer. He could never get that championship fighter. I think he might have did once, but he it seemed like all his fighters were looking, trying to fight like him. And now I was like, that shit ain't gonna work for everybody. Yeah. It's so good. That's why I don't. I never. That's why you barely see great fighters training people. Because people you run from the fighter too. I don't, I don't want him to fight training me. He gonna want me to fight like him. Right. Think about that's it. Why Roy Jones still train with um, the Mongols. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Huh. Um, Eddie Futch might have been one of the best known fighter trainers. Conversion. Yeah, Roger Mayweather too was a good what trainer. His, what is his life about? Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I forgot. Jay, what he uh, you had Freddie, uh, Freddie Roach. Uh, that was Manny Pacquiao yeah, trainer. Freddie Roach wasn't a great fighter. Freddie Roach wasn't a great fighter. Nah, he Somebody said, uh, yeah, because Mike Tyson is the worst trainer ever. Man, Mike Tyson. <laughs> yeah, he did, he did Get out of here, man. He trained Francis Ngannou, man. I think he trained Ngannou. Beat Tyson Fury. Go against what Don was saying, but no, Mike Tyson actually. Uh, he did a great job mm-hmm. with Francis Ngannou, but it's a difference training an MMA fighter for some mega fights out of nowhere, and mm-hmm. Mike Tyson just actually starting as a, a regular boxing trainer. So, so mm-hmm. I can't really assess how good of a trainer Mike is from his uh, experiment because it's so it's not it's not like nothing that you ever see before. I only can see yeah. Mike training short, stocky, strong fighters. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't see Mike training somebody like uh, a, a pure boxer or no shit like that. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Not a featherweight though. Mm-hmm. That's what happened to Chris Eubanks training with Roy Jones. Yeah, that was that was that was crazy. Yeah, Roy, it was. It's like, bro, Roy out here trying to teach Chris Eubanks to throw quadruple hooks and shit. <laughs> you can't teach nobody. I don't know, man. I don't know. Is he a terrible trainer, like, bro? Chris would do some stuff Roy did. And it's like Roy. You Roy had to teach him how to fight like a chicken. Not everybody is that damn fast. Yeah. He, that's a gift. That's not a. He yeah, never had the gift. basic boxing, boxing skills. He was basically okay. I know how to box. My father taught me. Blah blah blah. But yeah, I've used my athleticism in this ring. Yeah. Once he learned how to box, it was like fuck all that jab shit. I know right. I, his left hook. Captain Hook is his name. Right. You know. So I mean, that's you can't teach that, man. Is he you still with Bo Mac or nah? Who? Oh yeah, yeah. He was Bo. You been with Bo Bo Mac? Bo Mac helped him out, man. When he was fighting the white boy with the uh, road ankles, Bo Mac helped him out really good. Yeah. I think you should stay with him. I don't know, Chris. You been saying it seems like he's been fighting forever and never won a title. Never, never won. It's because he don't got it. He don't got it. But you yeah, know, he yeah. got he got the name, so he always going to yeah. be a mix. Yeah, it's like his pops. A little bit, I used to like his style. Like he's, he's, he's yeah, I like his pops too. His pops was a good fighter. He used to come in there flexing his shit, looking around. Yeah, I know his pops is cool. Hey, Murphy, um, if you're not talking, I'm gonna mute the mic because you got a lot of um echo. That's why I had muted it. But when you talk, just unmute yourself if you, if you got anything to say. Yeah, Chris Eubanks and Nigel Penn used to have some little war. <laughs> oh yeah, man. Chris Eubanks was like that. Man. Nigel yeah. Ben, I don't like like you know the stereo yeah. allegations. I don't like that, but I, I don't like I don't like, like his that, style. Man. I never and liked I think, his story, you, bro. I never like his son his style. can't his son can't follow up on that. Like his son don't have the athleticism. Mm-hmm. His father had a lot of natural muscle and athleticism. The son not built like that at all. Nah, because he had the silver spoon, so he didn't have to work hard like his father. <laughs> silver, yeah. and it don't take much muscle to lift that silver spoon. <laughs> Well, I'd never like the dog destroy you. You knocked out Iran Barkley. I wanted to go through the TV and kill him. Yo, know, I couldn't stand that dude. I hate the way he fight. I just hate everything. And then he really, is it McCullen? Oh, he kept hitting McCullen in the back of the head. Yo, I was Man, so- I don't even know what happened, bro. That was crazy, that fight. Rabbit, rabbit punch it, man. Yeah, Nigel Ben, yeah. But, you know, but if you, don't say that to a Brit. Right. Bro, don't say that to a Brit, bro. Oh no, that's not what play happened. He bloody <laughs> beat him. He you just knocked him that. out, man. He didn't do that. He bloody out, bro. He you knocked, knocked him out. He knocked him out. You Americans just say it. He didn't do that. Why you lying on that, man? I, told him, dude, I said, did you watch the fight? There's no. I said they was announcing the grab punches all through the fight. And then really he got knocked out in the first round. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, they, let him, they let him fucking get up. Yeah. Uh, he was down forever on the, on the yeah. ropes. He was they caught in between the damn ropes. Yeah. 
Yeah. No fucker ran. He got knocked out the ring. We got some popcorn. Came back and the ref was like two, three. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yo, that's a good joke right there. Like he ran and he got bro. some popcorn. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> Then he kept hitting him in the back of the head. So, so, so he went back and got some more popcorn done. Yeah, that was a horrible. That referee should have never refed after that fight. Never, yeah. His license. He should have stopped that fight, man. Cause that man could have still been living. McCullough could have probably been one of the great Thanks, fighters, Bobby. but he is. Bro. Yeah. Well, I, I, I call him. I call him Roy Jones Kryptonite. He was Roy Jones Kryptonite. Never got the chance to show the world why. Man, he, I think he would have beat Worry Jones Jr. He would have hurt him. I don't, I'm not thinking about that. Yeah. I know he would have. Yeah, he would have. I know he would have. That guy was an animal. Could nobody fuck with him. No, nah, James Tony yeah. would have tore his ass up. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, why yeah, the triangle yeah. theory don't work in boxing. Yeah, Gerald yeah, McClellan yeah. would have gave Roy Jones problems, and James Tony would have tore Gerald McClellan up. Mm -hmm. I don't yeah. know what it was against that shoulder roll, was the, uh, that Philly shell defense. That was a kryptonite for McClellan because when you watch them and that sparring, Tony was controlling the whole thing. And Tony uh -huh. fought better in under the lights. So I would have picked yeah. Tony to beat Gerald McClellan, man. Yeah, I would have too. I don't know if he'd have knocked him out. But, no, you um, just, just, just beat him. Yeah. Just, uh -huh. he, you, know, you never know both, with Tony, though. You never know when he's going to get the knockout. both used to be in that cronk gym going at it. Yeah. Floyd had them going at it all the time. They yeah. sparred too much, though. Like, t Tony, his, his beast fucked up. Right now, and it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's from really the farm, man. It's from yeah. the farm. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Tony just didn't give a damn, man. He just yeah. didn't give a damn. You know, I had an argument with Tony on Facebook. I think I told y'all. Yeah, yeah. I, I remember <laughs> that. <laughs> Yo, that shit was crazy because he, he was saying that we don't get no credit. He was like, "Nah, Sugar Ray Robinson from, from Michigan, man." I was like, "Come on, stop it, man!" He didn't even know he had a birth certificate in Michigan. When he wanted to fight the Golden Gloves, he was like, "Mom, where's my birth? Get my birth certificate for me." She was like, well, I, nobody's going to Michigan to eat your birthday. I was born in Michigan? I wasn't born in Harlem? No, you was born in Michigan. So he didn't even fucking know he came from Michigan. And and I told him, well, if that's the case, we're going to go ahead, go ahead and claim the rights to Michael Jordan then because he was born in Brooklyn. And he busted <laughs> out like, you got it, bro. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you can't claim no. If you learned everything in a different state that you was born in, then you, that's where you're you, from. you claim that state. It's like right. I go through a whole amateur career in, in, in New York and, and I was born in St. Croix. But so when I win the title, I go, yeah, I'm from St. Croix. <laughs> New York will fucking beat the hell out of me when I come back. <laughs> you kidding me? So, yeah, but Tony, he a cool dude. I, I never met yeah, that dude. Yeah, I like James Tony, too. But I always like that dude fighting style, man. Me too. I James like, I like his fighting style, fighter. man. I study it. You know, yeah, you I know, want to hear more my fights, that. too. Some fighters, they just they natural, they natural. Like uh Crawford seemed like a natural fighter. James Tony, natural fighter. It's like they got it natural. And you was talking about uh Benitez, like it's it's guys out there where you like a lot of the shit they do, they're not it, they're not really drilling that. Like the way that Tony used the Philly show, you know, he not drilling a coach isn't showing you like, okay, I want you to dip your head all the way down here and move your body back. Like, no, it just come natural. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's something that's just natural. Yeah, yeah, that's that's some natural shit there. Yeah. yeah, he was a good fighter, man. I, I wanted him to beat Roy so bad when I was watching that fight. I was just waiting for that one punch, and it took him too Roy long. Yo, no, Roy, I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I, did, I might still real. got the videos on my phone. I don't know if I was gonna do the video. I be I be yeah, at the time, but look, James Tony landed some hard counter shots on Roy. <laughs> Roy had a chin at that time, so I do believe when Roy say going coming back down, it fucked him all the way up. Before Roy went went up and then tried to come down, he did have a chin. Because I got slow motion footage, James Tony cracking his ass. Clean. More than once. <laughs> mm -hmm. right. I'll catch y'all later. I'm going to do good. the video. I was shocked. And it made me think about Errol as far as Errol, uh, oh, did, um, the way he hurt his body by gaining mm -hmm. all of that weight and then trying to go back to 47, fight after fight. That mm -hmm. fuck with your punch resistance. You're not yeah. supposed to be ballooning and then losing. Nah, don't. Yeah. Well, he, he, I think video, it's still man. with the number 47, so I don't get no excuses for nobody. There ain't no excuses. Yeah. You there went no back excuses. to 147 to fight, and you could have just said, fuck it, I'm going to fight at 154. When I win that belt, you come for me at that point. Uh, but that's what he should have done. You know, but he didn't. You know so. what's crazy, though? 
What he should have did, he should have pulled the Tank Davis and said, we're going to fight at 54 tomorrow. Fuck the belt. The, they would have still made the same amount of money. Exactly. Because the people that were watching that fight, they were not talking about, oh, wow, it's undisputed versus undisputed. They were saying it's Errol Spence versus Terrence like, Crawford. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so so yeah. if it was a case, if it was a case about them, um, Errol not making weight, he should have just said, yo, I'll fight you 50-50, but we're going to do that 54. You know what I mean? Forget forget the belt, all this. But the belts made it more story. They made it more uh, for a boxing story. legacy fight. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. now, you know, but we're two times undisputed. Two times undisputed. Yeah. Yeah. And if he plays his cards right, he could might he might be the third time if he played the cards. No, he's not right. gonna be he about to sign Bud is gonna go do some up, fights over in Saudi Arabia. That's why I say it could be. If he nah, do it. man. The Saudi Arabia fight is not gonna be about him becoming triple on the street. It's gonna be about him becoming uh right. triple rich. <laughs> I'm just ben. saying he could. I'm not saying he's gonna. I'm oh yeah, I feel you. Could. I feel you. Yeah. I don't think that's the route that he worried but, about. Though. I think it's just no, all about. So. He, he, got money. he I said know he that. don't want to fight past forty. Yeah, he said he don't want to be forty years old still fighting. He turned wow, thirty-seven this year. Yeah. They give him three years, and he wants to make sure that he maximizes all of his last couple of fights. Yeah, he better. So when you look at the one forty landscape, you don't even have. I mean, one one fifty-four landscape. There's not even that many big names for him to be really worried about collecting the belts if it's all about mm -hmm. money for him. Yeah. But I, I wish him good luck. I, I like the dude, man. I, I, Me I too. Did, you know, I think he just had some unfortunate, you know, situations with his opponents. And well, I don't think it was his fault. Yeah. You, know, you can't, I mean, you can't make people fight you. Right, I mean, right. Because at the end of the day, Keith Thurman, uh, Duck, uh, Arrow, and Bud. Mm hmm. Yep. That would have been great. Keith Thurman, yep. Duck, both of them. So. Yeah, well, Thurman, he's he's come up and say, Bud need a fight. Boots in Saudi Arabia. <laughs> yeah, Keith Thurman is the type of dude I, that knows he's limited with his talent. So he knew who he could deal with and who he couldn't. And those Yeah, two but that's why you got to shout out to Sean Porter because mm -hmm. there's no way you convinced me that Sean don't know that he was limited, but Sean got his ass in that he ring. He went there and got there for it. Yep. yep. I always get and he beat Porter some nights. He beat people that he wasn't supposed to be. Like, mm -hmm. Sean Broner is a more talented fighter than Sean. Mm -hmm. Sean came out with the dub. When you were watch Sean and Ugas, um, I think they robbed Ugas, but Sean came out with the win officially. So it's people who actually have a little bit more than Sean. But when you actually go out there and fight, you may be able to beat somebody mm -hmm. who's more talented than you. That's why it's good to yeah, actually Terrence go out there. Crawford finally decided to stop ducking. We don't know if it is confirmed that he's fighting Boots, though. Man, he better not. He better not. If he go in there, he, gonna, he has to fight Boots. He has to. If not, you think that's the fight that shot uh, Al Shiki trying to put on? Yeah, he trying to fight the he trying to fight the one fifty four dude too. But I feel like he going. He's not gonna get him. He's not gonna get him. He not gonna but not gonna get that one fifty four guy. They don't gonna get him. But 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 want to buy that one fifty four? He need to fight Charlo. Yeah, they trying to rebuild Errol. So Errol gonna get that. Hey, but and Charlo be a money fight. Okay, Jay, who you think will win? That's Charlo or Blue? Oh, against Canelo. Oh, oh. Nobody's huh? thinking about Charlo. I know. That's that's what I'm saying. Charlo is fucked up. Bud don't want to waste time with no Charlo. Hey, Murph, I'm going I'm to mute you. When you, when you get ready to talk, I'll mute yourself because you got the echo, man. Mm. But, yeah, um, yeah, but uh, Charlo... If Charlo would have went out on his shield, his stock would have went up. Like, imagine, yeah. even if he would have got knocked off, he would have hurt Canelo, his stock mm -hmm. would have went up. People yeah. would be like, damn, that was a fight. Charlo yeah. really came to, to win. Remember, nobody so was going to make fun of him for getting knocked out by Canelo. It's like, bro, you went up. Yeah. yeah, you went up all in weight class. What the fuck? We, we don't expect you to win the fight, but a you got to fight. A good example of that is Tommy Hearns when he fought Hagler. You would think, oh, everybody was nah, People was like, yo, Hagler gave him, I mean, Hearns gave him, I mean, Hearns and Hagler, I meant to say, Hearns gave him yeah. everything. That Bruh, was three Hagler rounds. Hagler almost got yeah. When Hagler tried to jump out there in that first round, people remember, oh, damn. Hagler did this. He watched the fight. Hagler almost got his ass knocked that, out. That knee buckled. I ain't never see Hagler knee buckled. That's what I'm saying. Hagler almost got his ass knocked out. Mm -hmm. that's, what, that's what people pay to see. Don't nobody pay to see no yeah. pussy foot. People pay, you never know what can happen. But Imagine nobody Hearns hit Hagler one more time with a shot that rocked him. He wins, just like that. 
Mm-hmm. But uh, I mean, they put on the great. They call that the greatest round in boxing. Three rounds, the greatest three rounds ever. Greatest three round, right? Greatest. Wait, I, I, KJ, that. I ain't never what, seen three rounds better could, than that. Could, wasn't that? Isn't that guy Garcia's trainer behind you? Yeah, that's Derrick James. Uh, okay, because because he kind of looked familiar. He's in the same camp as Earl Spence. Not anymore. I know he used no. to be Earl left him after the Terrence Crawford fight. Oh, I just the funny thing is I just got done watching the workout on the live workout between Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney. And uh I'm more than convinced Devin Haney's gonna stop his ass. Why? Just his pad work. He's putting real power into those punches now, Devin Haney. Yo, look at it. Yo, what up? Yo, did you not say that uh Ryan Garcia was gonna fuck up Devin Haney, bro? No, we didn't yeah, say that. Yeah, you know, I, before it was a while ago. But the thing is, I was paying attention to Ryan's punches, mm-hmm. and uh, the thing is, Devin Haney he gets hit a lot, but he's mm-hmm. being more elusive now. And I'm and I if you go back and look at Ryan's last fight, mm-hmm. holy shit, did he look like shit against Duarte before he but knocked him out? But I told you out. that though. Yeah. What else you needed for your lunch, man? Yeah, he's staying straight up. He's staying too straight up. Like Garcia staying straight up when he throws left hook. He he, he just his. Yeah, Garcia I mean, fight like Ali, but he don't have none of Ali athleticism. None, not even close. It's, it's almost blasphemy to say his name in that same category. No, they fighting the same. <laughs> the style that Garcia he fight, Garcia fight tall as hell. Garcia uses um unconventional yeah. um, methods of defense. Yeah. Oh, he, he yeah. fight literally, and then you don't have the natural athleticism of Ali, so he can't get away with it. That's like day and night, bro. <laughs> His athleticism is like zero, negative zero compared to Ali. Negative. Ali was a super athlete. And that great jab Ali had. I don't see Garcia with that. He got a white jab because he's good. Not a great jab. Brian Garcia got a good hook too. Though. Yeah, but he throw it standing straight up. Yeah, he do though. You see what happened to them when they do that? Somebody might get sound. It's hold on, hold on. I can't even hear you. <laughs> Say it again. Mike still tripping, brother. I don't know what's going on with your mic. Say it again, yeah. dog. I said, um, Yo, I said only them British fighters, mostly them British fighters fight standing straight up. And when you yeah. see, yeah, see somebody get knocked out by left hook. Yo, Lennox yeah. Lewis got it done to him. Uh, well, when he Oliver Cole knocked him out, it wasn't because he was standing straight up. Uh, but um, when uh, when Rockman knocked him out, he was standing straight up in the air. Yeah, like, you know, like he was in a who's the tallest competition, and a lot of them do that, and that's why a lot of them get knocked yeah. out standing straight up in the air. I never seen Mike Tyson do that too with his hooks. Yeah, I feel that. Mike, 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 Mike is a, uh, and David oh, Otua too. He always stayed with his knees bent. <laughs> Man, Pitbull, Pitbull keeps yeah, his head David down, too. too though. He got a good yeah. hook. Yeah. But Mike, Mike is left-handed, so people don't know that. Yeah. A lot of people don't know Mike, Mike Tyson was actually supposed to be a southpaw because mm. he's left-handed. So that's why his left hook was so powerful because he's left-handed. Mm. Yeah. I ain't know that. Holy shit, yeah. man. I mean, if you look at the fight with Larry Holmes, he destroyed his ass with a right hand like he was a... A an orthodox fighter. That bitch. Boom, 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 boom. Why That's wouldn't they pay Derek if he trained him? I don't know. Well, we got to ask Earl. Well, he paid him for the training money, right? It's the extra money he's looking for. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. He paid him. He paid him the regular, but it's a pay-per-view. Basically, Derek is saying, look, for for an event of this magnitude, um, I need to get a handsome paycheck. I can't be getting regular standard pay because y'all we got pay-per-view. You done made $10 million. I need to get... Probably maybe Derek, maybe Derek wanted two hundred, three hundred thousand dollars. Who knows? Yeah, but I think he's really saying, "Well, you made all that money and you leaving me? Yeah, I need something." <laughs> yeah, that too. That's what I really think you say that too. That's yeah. That's yeah. that's even better. Yeah. Well, I don't Yo, know how that's gonna work out now that I got the facts of it. Because I thought he didn't pay him at all, and I was like, "No, nah, 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 he paid him all something. That's robbery, then." KJ, what are your thoughts on uh the white Braxton? I saw one of your TikToks about. Ooh, I think it had the white Braxton in it or something like that. The white expert, the white, expert. The, white uh, the white Kawhi Muhammad. Kawhi, but he changed his oh, name to Kawhi. Kawhi Muhammad. 
Oh, he's, he's a beast, man. Specialist, bro. Yeah. And, and, and I love the way that he... This is the thing about Kawhi. I was telling uh, some, some dude that I trained with, because he's small, but he a cruiserweight. And my coach was like, he told me, hey, man, go watch... um, Go watch... uh. What's, what's that fighting? Joe Lou. I said, no, nah, don't watch Joe. Joe was tall, and Joe had a different type of athleticism and shit like that. Go watch Kawhi Muhammad. Kawhi may have been shorter than his opponent. He made an advantage. The way mm-hmm. that he, he could stand right in front of somebody, dip his head 50 different angles. That I mean, like, completely missed. Not yeah. brush up against his shoulder, not brush up against his head, completely mm-hmm. missed. The dude some was of the greatest fights you can see, um, some of his, you see his greatness really on display. Against another all-time great, we watch him and um the dude that uh the Mike Tyson I rival. I can't forget name for <laughs> right Holyfield, Kawhi Muhammad and the yeah. band of Holyfield. Watch and there was somebody else he used to fight all the time too, and I can't remember his name, but yeah, the whole him and the Holyfield cruiserweight fights is nice. Yeah, Holyfield yep. got the nods on those Holyfield, but Holyfield was a younger, you know, up and coming fighter anyway. I, I want I would like to see them both like. Clash at the same age. Mm-hmm. Like, they both was twenty five. <laughs> man, yeah. They said wasn't Holyfield on that stuff. I don't think Holyfield got on That's that stuff after. until he the heavyweight. The heavyweight. Him and yeah, fucking with Lee Haney. Fucking with Lee Haney. Yeah, yeah. but Kawhi, Kawhi, he, he's um coming from the cruiserweight. He really was an undersized heavyweight, but like I said, his head movement was insane. Mm-hmm. So it allowed him to fight fight men who were way bigger than him. That's what I was telling yeah. my boy that I trained with. Nah, you can watch Joe Lewis, but go watch Kawhi Muhammad. It'd be better for somebody of your stature. You're not that big to be a cruiser. Mm-hmm. You're not that tall. I always said when I seen him fight, I said if if um if Joe Frazier had his defense, uh-huh. with the same oh, oh my god, he would be a problem. Be, but was. Joe ain't even like defense like that. Nah, that's what I'm saying. If that's he the thing, had, like, a lot of shit be mental. It don't be like oh this person can or can't do that. It'd be. I don't got Joe was a fighter that didn't didn't mind getting hit. He liked it. That yeah. shit filled him up. Errol Spencer same way. Like some fighters, they mm-hmm. want to get hit and hit you back. They don't yeah. even really want to. Yeah. It's like a, it's a machismo thing. But you can't say that when you fight a fighter like George Foreman. Yeah, yeah. That, that sounds yeah. retarded. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's when you learn. That's when you learn. Like damn, yeah. I can't. Yeah, he learned all right. <laughs> he learned. Yeah, you never George seen Foreman knock him out. Never, George Foreman made Joe run back. Like nobody never seen that. He made him bounce, bro. He yep. hit him so hard he bounced and came back up and then went down. I seen a lot of fighters uh, run from George Foreman. What well, George was no, Kawhi, George hit Kawhi did a video on the They said, uh, they said George Mike Tyson with that kidney shot, him. man. That shit was he crazy. Said. George hit Kawhi with the kidney shot and it was a delayed reaction and Kawhi just dropped. Bro, let me uh, when when somebody say they don't want to fight George Foreman, I don't look at them crazy. <laughs> because George was a fucking freak of nature. Not only was he only big as fuck, he was a decent fighter. They got a yep. picture of George with Sonny Liston, and they got they fit. Now, remember, Sonny Liston was known for his big fist. George Foreman fist was a little bigger than his, bro. We're not talking about no little dude. This dude was a, a beast, man. And, yeah. and Ali, I was Ali, raised good. I would not, and, if I was a heavyweight what? and I had the choice not to fight George, I would not fight him. And I'm being. Ali beat both of them, but guess what? You talking about Ali? said the only man that ever backed him up, like in sparring, was an old Sonny Liston. And yes. I was like, Ali got both of them. They both was freaks of nature. Mm-hmm. Sonny Liston, his uh, they call it ape index, but basically his um, his arm reach. This man had like an eighty something really inch re- wingspan. Sonny mm-hmm. Liston did one of yeah. the longest wingspans in heavyweight history. And it was not like he was six five or something. I think Sonny Liston might have been an even six foot or something. Mm-hmm. But the man had such long arms and he could generate so much power. That's why he was knocking dudes out. And then yeah. he, Ali fought two freaks of nature. And he was a freak of nature himself when you talk about his reflexes. Well, he fought more work. than two. It's just that they, they were the two best. Because yeah, Ernie, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ernie Terrell wasn't no little dude either. He yeah, just Ernie, 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 Ernie was damn six six, wasn't he? Yeah, and then then Ali made him look so bad, people blew it off like ah, he was over. Like yeah, <laughs> yeah. We watched that fight. It was a time. It was a point in that fight where Ali made Ernie miss completely. Ernie was damn in the ropes. And then you got to remember took Ernie Shavers. To side tore his ass up. Ernie Shavers was a freak of nature too. Ernie Shavers was a Ernie Sha- oh yeah, his power. Ali shouldn't have fought Ernie though. That that now he shouldn't have fought Ernie Shavers. Because Ali was no longer at that point in Ali's career, he was no longer a freaking nature. 
Yeah. He was, he was taking a lot of shots that he wouldn't have taken uh, no other yeah. time in his career. He was done. His, his reflexes were done. He was in there all yeah. heart. That's when he started that rope with dope shit. Uh-huh. He didn't have the speed no more, so he had to do the rope with dope. Yeah. yeah. That's the funny thing. They gonna tie them out, and then I'll take over later on. Okay. That shit backfired. That uh. Backfired. What type of plan is that? Like, yeah, man. Uh, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna take these hits. I know I'm gonna hit with one of the hardest punches in the world. And I'm Muhammad Ali. I'm the greatest. So that man was crazy. Yeah. But that was so funny. He would have beat him even with his original style. Who? Ali would have beat Foreman. What you mean? What do you mean with his original? You mean like a younger like, Ali? Yeah, like he didn't. Like, uh, the Ali in the 60s would have been any heavyweight. Ali in the 60s would have been any heavyweight. It was like a heavyweight Roy Jones. Yeah. He would be any because of the speed. It was too much. So it wasn't even necessarily the style. And in the 60s, Ali was the that's the fastest heavyweight that we've ever seen to this day. None of these heavyweights, their feet, I'm not just talking hands, like there's a lot of heavyweights with fast hands. We've never seen a heavyweight whose foot, feet, and uh, hands was that fast. In tandem, never. No, come on, KJ. You know Tyson was faster, my nigga. Come on. Tyson was not faster than Muhammad Ali. He was Tyson not was faster. Fast. Don't get me wrong. Tyson was a speedster as well. But here's the thing: uh -huh. Muhammad Ali, because he had the longer arms, he could reach you from greater distance in a short amount of time. They said Ali's jab was faster than Sugar Ray Robinson's. Mike Tyson's jab was not was not that. And Mike had a good jab. Somebody say Tyson was more explosive. Yeah, that's that's a better term to put it. Meaning, uh, them that that power that Tyson could generate, he was a much more explosive fighter than Ali, but not not just straight up speed. Go look at Muhammad Ali combinations in the sixties. Mm -hmm. His best combinations, it, they were blistering. Tyson ain't never throw no damn uh, twenty piece. Yeah, this is a heavyweight that we talking about throwing twenty punch combinations, bro. Mm -hmm. Tyson was quicker and more agile. Man, y'all crazy, bro. Tyson was not more agile than old Muhammad Ali. No. Yeah, there's a def there's a difference between explosiveness, speed, and like agility. Yeah, yeah Ali was yeah, a ballerina yeah. in the ring, man. Like, come on, bro. It is, there's never been a heavyweight like that. And plus, Tyson, the crazy part is, y'all think this is some type of argument. Tyson five ten, Ali six three, moving like that. Like, bro, it, this shit is is unimaginable. You wouldn't believe it if you ain't see it. Mm hmm. Yo, one on one was good. Uh, wait, do you have fight? Do you have money on the fight, KJ? Garcia nah, I ain't, and I ain't no money on nothing. Man, but you I have full money on nothing. I might just do twenty dollars on that shit. Fuck it. Hey, you, you, you really should. If you have money to do it, know, do it, bro. Because if you're gonna win some money, if I had money, I don't have any money. But if I did, yeah, I'd put it on Devin Haney. Bro, I don't even know. I don't even see. Know. Yo, KJ. see like, 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 like KJ could have won money off the Fundora fight. I was broke then too. But I wouldn't bet on this fight. I'm not sure how this fight gonna go. I wouldn't even bet on this fight. I knew the yeah. fun door fight. I was almost certain how the, that fight was gonna go. Yo, KJ, did what you the, see uh what Devin Haney dad uh said that uh what did he say? He said he was gonna kill Ryan Garcia. Yeah, he said Devin gonna kill him. He said Ryan gonna Yeah, die. I tagged you to the video. I seen can, it. Can we talk about how the judges yeah, that was crazy. Were, just first Haney rigged the fuck out of that fight? We just won that shit. You name this decision. I want the fuck <laughs> What scoring. the fuck? <laughs> no, he just no, knocked no, that motherfucker out. Hell. I don't know what they're talking about. He's looking for reaction. Hey, go. how you doing today, uh, Rob Smitty? Regis the go. Yeah, Regis the go. Hey, you have a good day, man. Regis, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck is that guy talking about, KJ? He was just trolling. I don't know. That's, that's, that's that deep. Bro was on cocaine and heroin. Yeah, bro was on shit. He came up in here. Bro. I'm like, what the fuck is he coming for this for? That's that lean, baby. That's that lean. <laughs> <laughs> to be oh, honest with you, the dog. rappers be sipping. No, motherfuckers. This is why y'all be getting banned and shit. <laughs> <laughs> Please sip like, with that Patron, like, too. Did we just, <laughs> honestly, he, he did, had a little bit of whiskey with it too. Dude, did they, they fucking? Up, man. Regis, Regis, yo, did did Regis even fucking hit him? To be honest, was there no, even a that punch was, that he like? No, one of the most dominant performances. It was a quiet dominance though, but he put on one of the most dominant performances when you talk about CompuBox and his. Man, 
He needs to go back to TV, read Kathleen Lee. Yeah, this is like, Ain't he tore that ass up, man? Come on, man. Man, he beat the fuck out of him. People want to come up in here and get mad now. If Ryan gets in Devin Head like he did with, with the mom stuff, you think he'll lose focus? No. no. If Ryan's going to win the fight, if Ryan could zone in on that left hook, land it perfect. That's it. Uh huh. Yeah, that That's will it. be lights out if he hit him correctly with that no, left hook. Yeah, if Ryan land the same hook that he's landed on Fonseca, the same hook that he landed on um, the little short black Hispanic dude, I can't think of his name. If Ryan land that money hook, boy, it's a wrap. I don't give a fuck who you are. Tank Davis dealt with it, but Tank got a different chin than Devin. Tank what, got a different head structure. Tank got a big ass head, like like Cruz. Like he got yeah, he got a different what, thing going on. So remember what, uh, what you call him? Said Tank about got Sam Peter. That almost happened to um, to Haney when he got hit by somebody. I forgot the fight. He went back to the corner and was like, don't ever play with matches. <laughs> oh, yeah, Costa Zoo. <laughs> no, no, I'm no, saying Lenardi. the same thing happened to Haney in a fight. That, that happened to Zab Judo. He didn't fall. But he walked back to the corner like, don't ever play with matches. <laughs> he was fucked up, man. But he lucky that bell rang, boy. Yeah, Lenardi. Okay, he was taunting and laughing at him and shit. He tried to say he wasn't hurt. Yeah, okay. He was hurt. Nah, he was hurt. Yo, Hell, yeah, he was hurt. Why wouldn't he get paid? Isn't that his coach or something? He got paid. He just didn't get paid the extra money because it was a pay-per-view fight. So he was demanding more money than what Errol gave him. They're having a civil lawsuit about it right now. Civil KJ, KJ, if, 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 if uh, Haney knocks out Ryan, does that mean that he deserves to be a pay-per-view star? What do you mean deserve to be a pay-per-view star? Well, because I don't think he's dead that worthy because he's not like an entertaining fighter, is what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like you can't you can't really say somebody does I deserve to be a star. You either a star or you aren't a star. I don't think Devin is a pay-per-view star, and that's okay. No, okay. Not. All he has to do is keep on winning. He's gonna be remembered. He's gonna be boxing royalty. Yeah. If Tank Davis will get a man a real shot, shit, that's gonna be a he's not gonna be a star, but he's gonna be in a star act. I bet you that. If Devin fight Tank, I bet you the whole world stop and watch it. Yeah. They they will and I have seen something that Abel, you know who Abel Sanchez is. He yeah. said that if he said that if Ryan loses this fight, it will be extremely detrimental to his career because then that means he's been knocked out by two elite fighters and then he had ch- a chance no, to no, show no, himself. We train today. We was talking about that. My mother let you go down. We was talking about that. It's not about whether or not Ryan loses. It's the manner in which Ryan loses. If Ryan loses and he knocks Devin down one time, Ryan fans could live with that. If Ryan loses and it's a close fight and, and, and he lost by a round or two, they can live with that. But if he get washed, if he get done like how Regis did, if he gets stopped or if he quits, that's going to be detrimental. So it's not just – it's how he loses. That's my opinion on it. Yeah. So, the, yeah, so the fight with Tank, do you think that was embarrassing to his career or he did the best? He yeah, you, he quit. Yeah, yeah, that's embarrassing. No shit. That's you know, people, that's identify with that and people who don't buy no issues. Hmm? That's why they saying he they, sometimes he looked like he have emotional problems. I'm talking about Ryan. I think that that should still affect him. He still talk about it. Oh, I didn't quit. Yes, you did. You quit. Yeah, you quit. You quit. Ain't no ain't no other explanation about it. Nothing nothing you can you say about it. No it's it's a different. Okay, when Oscar got hit in the liver, Oscar was turning around and shit. Well, Ryan Oscar got hit, took a knee, and then heard ten seconds and popped right back up. Wait a minute. I'm not can saying I'm... like. You can get hit with a body shot and get stopped. You didn't see the you interview. Don't hold on, hold on. With a body shot. KJ, you KJ, about it. KJ, you didn't see <laughs> but, the interview with Oscar because Oscar never got hit in the liver. He got hit in the lever. <laughs> liver. <laughs> he, got, he hit me in my lever, so no, he, he didn't get hit in the liver. <laughs> Let's get that correct. <laughs> yeah. Well, I. I just got hit in the lever and then my was rolling around like he was on fire. He stopped, he started stopped dropping and rolling. So it's a mm-hmm. difference between, you know, yeah. real pain and a motherfucker making a decision like, yeah, you I ain't getting still, you could, it's some pain that you can push through and some pain you can't. Mm-hmm. What's up, I think, but where does Ryan, but the thing is, where does Ryan's career go from here if he loses, KJ? <clears throat> If he loses bad, his, his career goes down. Yeah, he might. Uh, he's still young. Boy. I mean, that's the thing, though. You can have a resurgence in your career depending on how serious you are about the sport. He might go out to pack it up and uh, stop doing boxing. 
Yeah, he might be the richest dog title holder ever. For real, he can go do like Ryan model. said that y'all keep pushing him to get a title, but after this fight, he's gonna have a title. He's gonna silence all the doubters. Okay, that's cool. Ain't nobody hating on him. I've never seen that back then in the nineties where we have a rich boxer like. That. I, don't, I don't believe it, Don. I don't believe it. You got two rich boxers with no title, Jim Paul and Ryan Garcia. Two two multi million dudes never wore belt. I don't even think they wear belts in their pants. They never had a title, bro. And they multi million is. I'm not hating. I'm just saying that's crazy. No, that's, that's, no you just it's a, it's a great that's a great fact. Yeah, that's fucking that's insane. Like that's coming from your era, that. that that was unheard of. Yeah, dudes, both of them made over forty million dollars in twenty twenty three. No belts, sagging like all. <laughs> They just sat walking around sagging. They got no belt, no title, no nothing. They got money. Yeah. Ryan mm-hmm. and Shakur said they fighting after this fight. Hey, shit, that'd be a great fight. Ryan and Shakur. No, would not be so one sided. He's not going to fight him, though. If, if, if Ryan Garcia lose, Shakur not fighting him. This is going to be Haney's leftovers. So, Shakur uh, uh, would, nah, man. Too, Shakur would man. make more money fighting Ryan. Well, like, uh, Ryan well, Lane's still selling, man. Nah, I don't know. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, we mm-hmm. gotta. This is what we gotta do. We gotta accept him. Yeah. yeah. I don't care if Ryan get his ass up against Haney. I want to see Ryan fight Shakur because that these are the fights that we've been wanting to see anyway. Ryan, the only one that's stepping up to the fucking plate, and it's like, what else are we gonna get? We're not gonna yeah. get Shakur and yeah, Tank. Well, well, Haney, Haney doing it. And yeah, oh. unless unless the only thing that'd be better if Haney would say, okay, Shakur, let's do it, one forty, and that fight. But how long is that fight gonna take to happen? Uh-huh. Well, Ryan, we don't even have to wait. I for wonder if uh, Shakur go tank, move up to one four. Ryan fought Tank, got one tune up, and now he going after Haney. Like yeah, he, he have to win that. I can't see him fighting uh, Garcia right after he loses to Haney if that happens. I, I just can't see that. I, mean, I think he might get a, uh, another fight, win that, and then fight Shakur like he did with. Uh, yeah, you all right. Y'all Devin right. probably y'all right. y'all right. could say that. Did y'all see that clip of uh, the interview with uh, Ryan Garcia and Devin Haney? He was like, I don't know if Ryan Garcia is taking this fight seriously. Yeah, that was hilarious. <laughs> Wait, who said that? Benavidez? No, Haney. Haney. Oh, Haney. Ryan Garcia started like singing and dancing mid-interview. Yeah, Ryan is in, what? in the pre- In the press conference? It was, no, it was like uh, the face-off type of thing. Yeah. Oh, you mean when Devin pushed him? No, there's like a, another thing that's coming out. It was an interview. It was an interview. Yeah. But I was like, a, I oh think yeah, I saw. Oh yeah, when they're they're sitting in the room. Yeah, when they're, they're sitting Ryan down. fans are like a mob. They think he could beat anybody. I don't think Rip Ryan could beat a lot of the top guys, but I think Shakur and them. Jared like, bro, Anderson. At this point, is, um, what are we waiting for? Tank Davis is about to be thirty years old. Look, um, Devin and Shakur are both young. They could fight each other right now. You know what I mean? Like To, we should have been getting these fights, man. I think Shakur. Oh, that's and the only Jared thing. That's Ryan saving Ryan so is get, really, really so they can get more fights. Did you huh? hear me? I yeah. think I think Shakur and Jared are giving bad performances so they can get better, so they can get some more fights. So they're thinking, you know what I mean? Oh, look at this bad performance, and they're doing it on purpose. I feel like so they no, can get more fights. No. What do you think? You don't what? think Jared? You don't think they're doing it on purpose? Fuck no. Did Jared mm-hmm. did that because Jared don't love boxing. So what's the point of him? He looking at it like, why am I? Why would I risk potentially getting knocked out trying to push the pace? Against somebody who a relative nobody, and why would Shakur look bad on purpose? Do you know that Floyd, Terrence Crawford, um, what's that motherfucking name, um, Andre Ward, all of the top boxers came out to watch Shakur. That was supposed to be Shakur's coming out party against De Los Santos. Mm-hmm. I don't think he would look bad on purpose to try to get more fights. So like, nah, you you reaching with that one. I thought he said uh, he was sick or he broke his arm, something like yeah, that. Yeah, but but no, nah, dude was saying that maybe Jared and Shakur trying to look bad so they can get some more fights. Like, nah, man. Yeah. That's not how that worked. It would it was in Jared Best Anderson, uh, Jared Anderson uh best interest to knock that dude out, uh Rehan Murray, and it was in Shakur best interest to knock out De Los Santos. Yeah, they said dude came in uh, a paycheck when he came in that fight with Eric, uh Jared Anderson, they said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I think he just wanted to get paid. Yeah, I, yeah, but yeah, man. I've been up here about an hour. I'm about to get down. Um, Vegas, thanks for coming up, even if it was for a short time. One on one, thanks for coming up. Yo, uh, Lickety, Don Judah, NBA, Christian. everybody. Uh, Don, see thanks for the guest, man. Y'all have a good evening. Thank you. Have a good one.
Peace.